Hello to everyone. This is Wahid Lama Dasir, Master Student of uh, SIT Department in King Mungut University of Technology, Tanburi, and Bangkok, Thailand. This is my presentation for UMCUN 2021 International Conference. Today I'm going to present my research work, which is based on diabetic retinopathy classification with a preterm image enhancement model. Before we jump to the agenda, I would like to uh, give you a general overview about the classification. With the, <clears throat> we are inputting some fundus image to the CNN model and then applying some knowledge. And in result, we will classify whether the image is DR or no DR. <clears throat> so the outline of my uh, talk will be taking you through a brief overview on topic and this is the disease. And then my research aims of my master research and then some remarks conclusion from the literature review. And afterward, I propose the proposed deep learning model for this problem and as well as the results we have got so far. And finally, the conclusion, the references and questions part. Diabetic retinopathy is basically a disease affecting the eyes that are caused by a change in the black vessels of the retina. It occurs when the black vessels in the eyes begin to seal or leak. In some cases, uh, new black vessels may grow on the surface of the retina. So the symptoms of this can be leakage and swelling of black vessels of the retina. So we can say like uh, common symptoms include blood vision, sports in vision, vision loss, loss of. So, and uh, its early detection is basically done through analyzing fundus image with the help of customized software. Statistically, we can say like it's estimated that the number of DR patients will increase from 126.6 million in 2010 to 191 million by 2030. Here in this slide, I would like to show you just quickly the sign and symptom of diabetic retinopathy disease. As you can see in this figure, this is a normal eye, a normal retina of an anatomical part of the normal eye with normal healthy parts. And uh, the bottom one uh, is a diabetic retinopathy fundus. It is here, you can see like, as you can see, there are some spots to accredite spots here and uh, yellow spots and some other signs and lesions, those uh, signs uh, that are like blood leakage. And those things, when they develop, will lead to blindness. So this vision is like the normal retina, and this vision is of the infected retina. So let's come to our part, the machine learning or AI part. So I'd say in my master research, uh, the major aim of this proposal, proposed research is to improve the deep learning model for a small number of the training set in the error classification that is possibly more accurate than existing published work. <clears throat> so in the literature part, we conclude like uh, uh, there are some complex images that needs a huge amount of training image to achieve a better accuracy or high performance model. So the main challenge is like there are some domain that doesn't exist large data set to get better results. As you can see to this table, there are some data sets and there are the number of images and uh, there are the accuracy. According to this table, you can see the any uh, number of images that they use a lot, they have better accuracy. And those images that they, they are less amount, so their accuracy also less. So fortunately, in our case, while we appro apply our own model, so we had like a less amount of the data set, but we got better accuracy. So let's discuss about the methodology part, that how can we, we have done this. In this big picture, we can see that we are just uh, divided this in two parts. The first one part is like the uh, simulate image enhancement process, and another part is like the classification part. So we, we are doing this, the purpose is like uh, to improve deep learning performance on small number of training images for classification problems. So for doing the SIEP model, uh, they are, we are going to select a senior model. So actually, uh, we train several pre-trained models, and then uh, we select one uh, model, the best model, and we name that as a uh, senior model. 
So the classification ne network of all models is customized from the last convolution layer of the network by adding a global average pooling layer. Then again, two fully, fully connected layers are added with the size of 512 and 0 0.5 dropouts. So finally, uh, a fully connected layer with sigmoid activation function is added in this part. And the network is uh, then in the last, the network is fine tuned to make it uh, more efficient for the classification problem. So as a result, we can see like uh, we uh, train several pretend models like exception VGG16 and others. So the best uh, or the better accuracy with that we achieved was from efficient B7. So we select this uh, like a senior model and this the senior model is used as an expert in the field. So the performance still didn't reach to 100%. Therefore, we choose only images that are correctly classified with high performance. So subsequently, a high probability classification probability data set is selected from this uh, model and uh, about 590 images was selected uh, that they are fully or 100% classified uh, has 100% accuracy. Those images that are then used uh, to train the simulate model. So you can see we separated like 590 images um, from our senior model, which had like 100% accuracy. And then we apply the bin Graham image enhancement process and uh, for the fundus classification. So the image enhancement process is used to ensure that the relevant information is improved. While we applied this in this picture, so we have something like this. This uh, picture and this picture we use for our SIEP model. So you can see this uh, model and the architecture of the model. We create a simple CNN model to simulate the image enhancement process. So we need export knowledge to select some clearly classified images. Then those images are used as a guideline for training our model. Those images, like I, uh, I said before, 590 images. So this approach done by selecting a model, having high performance as an artificial expert, expert called a senior model, and then selecting training images that are correct classified by the senior model with the high confidence. So the simple CNN model is used to learn an input image and produced. Uh, enhanced image accordingly. In the design network, uh, five convolution neural layers are used. The input layer accepts three channels that represents the depth of the fundus image. So this is the general uh, architecture of our SIEP model. After our, while well, uh, we train that model, so we transfer the weights or the parameters of that model and, and join with the classification part. So the architecture of the classification part is like we're inputting 380, 380 by three channel image, and then we put our uh, SIEP model, which has that amount of parameters. And afterward, we put like efficient NIT before pre-trained model with this one. So actually we try, uh, or we experimented uh, with uh, several other pre-trained models as well, but this one was the best one which gave to us better accuracy. And after that, we added like the global average pooling layer and hidden layers and uh, the output layer, which had like binary classification, whether the, the image is like uh, DR or not DR. So let's jump forward to the results. The data set that we used for this uh, research was MESIDA2, uh, which consists of 1,748 retina images with five levels like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, for our research, in our case, we classify that into two section, two classes, the 0 and 1. So 0 and 1 levels are joined in the 0 class, and 2, 3, 4 are joined to the 4 or 1 class. The SIP, while we apply our own model to the classification part, and then we experimented with the several more pretend model. So we got this result. We uh, experimented, we experimented with the efficient net B0, efficient net B4, efficient net B7. So among these three uh, model, we achieved the best accuracy, the Kappa score and the F1 score, which we achieve is from the efficient B4. 
although the efficient B7 is also have better accuracy than the uh, baseline or our senior model, which had like 89%. Uh, so again, uh, in this pro approach, the, the Graham pre-processing function is also applied on the all immediate two, which consists of 1,748 training limits. So we applied that uh, function to all that uh, as well and different types of pre-trained network are also used. So all models are trained until the yearly stop criteria are met. The loss of verification doesn't decrease for five epochs. Among those uh, models, the efficient unit before achieves the highest accuracy result and accuracy of like uh, 86% among others. As you can see the Kappa score and the F1 score uh, for this uh, model. So in conclusion, we can say like uh, we created a pretend uh, image enhancement model for simulating the image enhancement process. Then we transfers, transfer the weights from our SIP EP model to classification model before pre-trained model. And our approach requires a small number of the training set and provides a model with higher performance compared with the baseline mode. So in result, we can say in conclusion that uh, the state of the art uh, performance are achieved by applying on visitor two data sets uh, by applying our own model which we proposed thank you very much